Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Heat Signature where we are continuing on with, uh, what's the face? Uh, Thorn Moon. Uh, we need to rescue Thorn's boyfriend from the foundry. We are 83% towards being able to get the intel. So we need to look for some more job listings. Um, weren't able to get that thing that we needed, but... We could attempt this one, a medium-sized off-world security ship. It's a hard difficulty one, but I do want to, I do want to start trying a hard difficulty stuff. So, uh, if the alarm is triggered, the target will head to the ship's telepad and escape if they reach it, and it still works. Okay. Uh, the client will instantly teleport you out if you are about to be injured in, about to be injured in any way. So there's no risk in attempting this mission. The ship will escape though, so the mission will be cancelled. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, passing through any door on the ship deactivates any gadgets you have. Or you have running. Exa slipstream, emotion shields, stealth shields. Uh, you'll need something that can knock out your target without killing them. Look for items within the con with the concussive trait. Okay. Uh, guards have concussive shotguns, which are non-lethal firearms with a widespread of shots, hard to dodge. Okay. Um, bosses, again, have concussive shotguns. Okay. This seems like it might be relatively doable. I'm going to give this one a shot. Uh, let's have a look at the gear that we've got. We've got a concussion hammer, a concussive gun. I don't think any of the actual gadgets are going to make a difference here. So we'll, we'll just see what we can do. Maybe we can get around by just smacking bitches with the hammer. We've got the concussive gun as well, so hopefully that will help. Let's see. I uh, see my see my uh, my docking port. Oh god, this is a this is a dinky little ship by the looks of things. That's bigger than I expected. Okay, I have got a hope that you guys are going to wander around this way. Right, I've got my concussive gun set to my uh, right click, so... Hmm. Are you guys going to move? Anybody going to come around this way? Oh, you are, goody! Bosh! Oh, okay, okay. They nearly saw me. Uh, concussive shotgun, I will have that. Done. Gotcha! Oh god! Fucking bloody windows. Oh god. Knock knock. And we're safe. Okay, good. Get back to that ship. <laughs> I keep forgetting that windows are a thing in this. Right, there we go. We're back on board. Ugh. Frantic confusion. Okay, we can now get through here. Oh, you don't see me. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly sneaky, but it'll do. Alright, which way are you going, mate? Okay. Oh, God, how do I pick up bodies? I don't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, where's the target? Where's the target? Gotcha. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Doing a runner. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, somehow we managed to nail that one. I don't even know how. Oh, no, we need to go back this way. Overshot. Overshot just by the ever so slightest bit. There we go. We're in. Right. <laughs> Off you fuck, mate. <laughs> Shoop. <laughs> New liberation available. Uh, achievement unlocked. Nails. Ooh. What is what is said achievement for doing? Complete a hard or harder mission. Okay. Nice. Liberations available. Let's have a look at the strategy map. 
Right. Oh, God. Okay. So I can now go liberating... Uh, I can choose to liberate one of these, I'm assuming. So these ones without any equipment on unlock new people to play as. Oh, they all unlock new people to play as, I think. That makes Sidewinder teleporters permanently available in all shops. Extreme range teleporters and high capacity key cloners. I don't know what that one does, so we're going to go with a Sidewinder one. Unlock that. Oh, okay, I don't have to liberate things manually, I just send people out to do it. Renamed to Moon Station in honor of Thorn Moon's help. I see, okay. Alright, mission type unlocked bloodless missions. On bloodless missions, you have to avoid killing any crew or causing them to die to be paid in full. Alright. Okay, so we're slowly taking over... Um... Right, unlocked silenced guns. Uh, unlocked sidewinder teleporters. Okay. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, personal mission. Got the money. Um... Hang on. Uh, let me see. I think I do. I do have the money. Yes, I do have the money. Um, I wanted to see if I could get the uh, the discount thing, though. Ah, there we go. Steal the Cadiz object. Alright, what have we got from this? The bosses look like they've got some sort of shield. The guards look like they've got something going on as well. Alright, if the alarm is triggered, a series of increasingly powerful contractors will arrive on the ship's telepad. Okay. They have a long, lethal melee weapon. So they've got wrenches. Um, oh yeah, it says wrench. And glitch dash instantly teleports or tens teleports instantly to suspicious sounds or sights, e.g. you. Right, so don't get seen. Now the bosses have concussive guns and heat sensors. Okay, so that's not too bad. And we don't have uh, any sentry turrets or anything as well, so that might be doable. Okay, let's give this a go. I think this might be manageable. Oh nice, we're starting to form our own network of um, stations as well now. Or systems. That's neat. I like that. Right. So we've done her done Thorns like liberate stuff. We haven't done like we haven't finished up the personal mission though. So we, we certainly need to try and do do that. I wanna try and get that done. Right. God. Okay. Hmm, this is going to be a tough one. Shit! Never mind. Oh, God. Defenders. Oh, shit. Fuck, I need to hide. Uh, I can't hide there. Um, right, defenders are just going to keep coming in. I, I can't hide these bodies anywhere. Where, where's the telepad, by the way? Oh, God! Uh, okay, right. Oh, unlock doors. Okay, good. Jeez. This got bad. This got dangerous. Really bloody quickly. So what have you guys got around you now? You guys have got, like, some sort of shield? Got you. Right, what the hell did I just pick up? Deactivate jammer. Um. Oh right, okay, so that's that's what that guy was. Alright. Okay, I can see I can see my, my target. Can I get you? Nope. Can't get you. Fuck. Yep, that, that shield is just impenetrable. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Ooh, come on, come on. Come on, save my life, please. There we go. Okay, I've still got these buggers on here. How in the hell do I deal with them? Let's try this subverter thing. I don't quite know how to get it to work. But, I mean, all of you guys seem to be on just kind of like search patterns. If that wears off... 
Are you guys gonna chill out? I mean, that works for me. Bosh! Oh, fucking Jesus! Windows! <sighs> I'll remember that Windows exist one day. <laughs> but not when I'm in space, apparently. I will get this information. It might take me fucking forever. But I will get this information. So... Boop. How, how, how do I... Okay, never mind. Ooh, okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All of that seemed to work. Fantastic. Oh. Oh yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing better now. Good. Okay, we've had we had some cock ups. We had some slip ups. Ooh, I don't like you running around so bloody quickly. Why does that seem to take so long? Damn it! Fuck! Why did the subverter not work on him? I I don't know. I, yeah, just chuck me out. Fine. Uh. I don't know how to ha use half of these gadgets. Ugh. Come on, back it, back it, back it. Over, there we are. Right, coming in. Morning. <laughs> yeah, I need to figure out how to use this subverter. Because I don't understand why that didn't work. It didn't use up a charge. Which means that it wasn't a successful shot, so I didn't, like, waste anything. Which is good. Uh, right, search for intel. Intel found, mission reduced cost by 40. 40 credits. Uh, deactivate the jammer. Okay, captain taken out. Check the stash. What have we got? High capacity glitch trap. Uh... Center stash when I return to stay. Good lord, that's a lot of stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> and the Cadiz object. That's the thing that I'm meant to be taking. Uh, right. I really want to try and get this right. There we go! Oh, off he, off he goes! <laughs> right. Uh, teleport items on the ship to you. Okay, good. Hopefully, that means I am leaving with the thing that I need. Yes? Nope. That is not how it works, apparently. I don't get that. I don't get that. Like... Eh. I don't know. What can I swap out? Because I need this. Right, don't stash. This item will be sent to your stash when you return to the station. Right, okay, so just return to the station and everything should be fine. Uh, I need to figure out where I am in relation to the station. I'm probably going in completely the wrong direction. Where am I? Can I check the map? There we are. Here we are. Have I got everything? Objective in stash. Oh, no, I don't need that. Go away. Stash. There we are. Yes, could use object. Good. Right. Um, send that to stash. Send that to stash. Take you. And... Drop. There we go. Nice. More liberation progress done, so we could get another one of these things finished as well. Ooh. Capture Platon Vietzen. Kill no one. That should be easy enough. There's two guards and three bosses. Wrenches and guns. Like that's easy enough. All right. I'm I'm liking this stuff. Let's let's go for something nice and bloodless. Let's not kill anybody. Let's not smash them through the windows, either. Because that might prove to be a bit of a bother. And... Oh, we're in.
Hello. Which way are you going? Night night. <laughs> Bosh. Done. Right, we got anything good in here? Long range crash beam. Turns off tar Oh yes, that's gonna be very handy. Oh for God's sake. Bloody right clicking to subvert stuff. Okay. I see the dude I need to capture. You gonna come all along this way? I think you are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. A quick rummage around the rest of the ship. I like how the captain just seems to be asleep in his chair. Mm. Silence concussive gun. Ooh. Is that quieter than a quiet one? I don't know. I'll find out. Night night. <laughs> Oh, God, what am I stuck on? Right. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm trying to deliver it to a friendly station. Return to bot. There we go. God. Uh, right, this way. Just let that thing drift. Yeah, there we go. Bloodless. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at this personal mission, then. Alright, got the money? Yep, 160. Perfect. I found the ship Regency Gyasi is going to be transported on. And I've got someone in place to dispatch it at my signal. I'll send the details to the jobs board. The security is serious, so read up on it and get your shit together before you say the word. <sighs> well, that's good because I'm completely ready for this and I'm not at all terrified. <laughs> I'll give you a pep talk, but statistically most people who try things like this just die. Good luck, though. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Uh, right. Rescue my boyfriend from the foundry. 32 guards and 10 bosses! Ooh! <laughs> That's a lot! Serious guard kit. No fucking kidding. If the alarm is triggered, a series of increasingly powerful contractors will arrive aboard the ship's telepad and search for you. Contractor... Defender times two. A contractor who generates an impenetrable, crashable, un uncrashable, unhackable shield for all guards near them. The only way to bring these shields down is to take out the defender who, in one of nature's cruel ironies, only has a conventional shield. <laughs> this ship just generally has lots of guards. Some of the guards on this ship require a special equipment or tactics to deal with. Read the guards and bosses tab to make sure you have everything you need, or a very clever idea. Alright, the guards have a shotgun and are armoured, immune to any attacks from weapons that don't have the ignores armour trait. Explosive grenades and sentry guns ignore armour, so do the highest tier of guns and blades. I don't think I've got the equipment for this job. Uh, the bosses have guns, which are typically, typically used to shoot people. Uh, they have shields, reflects all incoming damage, crash beams disable shields, and subverters turn them against their owner. They let them damage. They let damage in, but reflect the guard's own shot. Oh right, so that's how subverters use them. <laughs> that's clever. I like that. Um, but they also have armor. So yeah, I need to check my gear because I really don't think I have the stuff for that. I don't actually think I have anything that ignores armor as far as weapons go. Having something that would. Like, I mean, obviously, armor-piercing rounds is going to be great, but what if I want to try and do this bloodlessly? Um, that is obviously going to be the ultimate question. I mean, how can I... Can I change over what ammunition my quiet gun is using? Or does that only use, like, standard ammunition? I don't know. Um, what have we got in the stash? Have we got anything that might be good? Quick fire shotgun? Mm. Don't know. We might have to do some more 
um, some more missions to maybe try and liberate some more stuff. We've got a ooh, rescue simple Cadiz. Can kill no one. Okay. Don't kill anyone. If you complete the mission but fail this clause, you'll only be paid 25 credits. Okay. It's contractors to... as defense. Contractor who moves through the ship installing jamming devices. Okay, we've dealt with that kind of stuff before. And these guys only have heat sensors and guns, so that should be doable, actually. It's just gonna be down to the guards' patterns, I think. See my point of entry. Just try and quietly... Oh, there we go. Oh god, that is a lot of you guys. Oh, and you guys are wandering around in pairs as well. Okay, I need to check what your, what your patterns are going to be like. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright. Hmm. If I can try and take out you guys nice and quickly. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Now we keep an eye out for you. Oh god. You found you heard something, didn't you? Shit. Whoop. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, slightly nerve-wracking, that. It, it, it does feel intense when you're doing that. Okay, we got way more down that way. Right. Keep an eye out where you're going. And just... Whoop. Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's just get rid of all of these jamming devices. Um, can I... Oh, I can inspect the, 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 the state of the ship. God, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Alright, let's head back around this way. I want to try and strategically or tactically wipe out as many of these guys as possible. I might not be t particularly good at strategizing, but I always like to give it a shot. Where are you going now? Okay. No, you didn't see me, mate. Fuck. Shit. Uh, bugger. Bugger. Uh, shit, defenders are inbound. So I need somewhere to hide. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. oh. Take out the captain. Does that do it? Nope. <laughs> I've got no way to turn off this alarm, have I? Mm, not really. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to try and stealthily get you back to the pod. Oh god, why was that guy on fire? Ugh. Why did it look like he was on fire? I don't know. Ooh. Right, that's the teleport pot pad. Okay. Well, never mind. I think we've made it out safe and sound. And I think that was bloodless as well, so bravo, that was fantastic. Oh, in we go. Off you go. <laughs> Holy shit, the payout on that one. Glorious. <laughs> right, liberation's available. One. Yes. Alright, let's get something new. Um, long range key cloners. High capacity key cloners. Uh, boosts economy. Um, okay. So I can just kind of work my way around getting various different things. So. Oh. 
no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to inspect further around to see what sort of stuff I can get. Unlocks the Sovereign Cold Fire. That sounds cool. A low power thruster undetectable by heat sensors. Oh. Interesting. That's the Glitch's Stronghold. Ooh, wow. Liberating all strongholds will end the war with a glitch. Oh, right, okay, so we've got the glitches. We've got the sovereign. Um, we've got the off world security stronghold, and then we've got the foundry. Okay, so we've made a start on. I think this one was the glitches. I think, anyway. Um, God, I don't know which which stuff I want to go with. I suppose this one, because having like more money is always better. So, yeah, let's claim that. Nice, Moon Station One. Okay. Oh, audacious missions are the kind everyone assumes can't be done. They need specialized equipment, meticulous planning, and the capacity to come up with a different meticulous plan when your meticulous plan goes catastrophically wrong. They pay you very well. <laughs> Do they? Okay. That sounds interesting. Um, <laughs> right, click on a friendly station to try its defector mission. We could try that. Let's see what Cold Rock Haven. Let's, let's go with our starting one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try that. Uh... Right, I have to assassinate someone. Oh. Well, shit. Pod destroyed. Well, what what am I meant to do here? How am I meant to do this, Dan Han Dan Hardcastle? I Isn't that nerd cubed? I'm pretty sure that's nerd cubed. You are drifting in space and will die. <laughs> you have no pod. How am I meant to do anything for you? Um, I can I use the self-charging glitch trap to move you? Nope. You're you're going to die. Well, that was a waste of fucking time. What was the point in trying to do that mission? How am I meant to do this? How am I meant to do this without a pod? Armor piercing pistol, self charging glitch trap. I have nothing else to do. Oh, never mind. Change character. <laughs> leave him in space, I think. Yeah, I think with that, I might leave this episode off here. So we've seen a little bit more of the game of like liberating different sectors, different stations. Um, I don't know what to do with some of these defector missions if they're going to start out like that. That was just. That was dumb. Like, why start you in a situation where you can't do anything? You can't progress? What's what's the point? Um, maybe it's just, like, a random, randomly generated thing or something. I don't know. Real stab of bad luck right there. <laughs> Either way, this game is still proven to be quite fun. Um, again, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this, just based on, you know, my own personal way of playing the game. And... Um, this feels like it's the sort of thing that is going to take a while to get, like, completely finished. Especially we're trying to do, like, harder missions and incorporating all the gadgets and stuff into that sort of stuff. I'm going to try to, like, try out more of the gadgets just to see how they work and what they can do for me. Uh, I, I think that there's some good potential for, like, dicking about with the enemy uh, with some of the traps. Like, that subvert is quite clever. I like the idea of that one, especially against, like, shields. That's real, real a real dick move there. But otherwise, I'm just going to kind of keep plodding along until I kind of get tired of doing doing the same old thing over and over, I think. So for now, I am just going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, check me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. It won't help you. Oh, God.
going after the wolf den, like, in the middle of the forest. Just because he's got the range, and he's like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna shoot wolves. Boom! 